What if I told you that those senior moments, forgetting a name, losing your keys, walking into a room, and not knowing why aren't an inevitable part of aging? For years, even as a doctor, I accepted this as a medical fact, until I witnessed how a simple, one-minute sequence allows seniors in their 80s to maintain a mental sharpness that rivals people half their age. Hello, I'm Dr. Kenji Sato, and welcome to the Senior Wellness Center. As a specialist in geriatric health for over 30 years, I've dedicated my life to one single mission, to empower you to age not just with health, but with dignity, clarity, and the vibrant mental energy you deserve. Today, I'm going to share that simple, powerful routine with you. It requires no equipment, no cost, and just one minute of your day. Let's begin. But first, let me ask you something. Have you ever felt that flicker of panic when a familiar name escapes you right on the tip of your tongue or the quiet frustration of searching for glasses that are sitting right on your head? These aren't just minor inconveniences, are they? Each one can feel like a small crack in the foundation of your confidence, a whisper of doubt that maybe, just maybe, your mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. This fear is often bigger than just misplacing keys. It's the fear of losing your independence, of becoming a burden, of your sharpest memories fading into a fog. It's a deeply personal and often silent struggle. I want you to know that this feeling is incredibly common. You are not alone in this. And more importantly, it is not a battle you have already lost. What you're experiencing are signals, not of the feet, but of a mind that is asking for the right kind of attention, and that attention is simpler than you could ever imagine. For decades, the common narrative has been that mental decline is a one-way street, a slow, inevitable fading. But in my practice, I kept encountering remarkable exceptions, patients in their 80s, even 90s, who could recall childhood stories with vivid detail, whose minds were as sharp as a tack. I became obsessed with understanding why. Their secret wasn't found in a complex prescription bottle or in expensive, time-consuming brain training programs. The answer was simpler and rooted in the body's own intelligence. It's a short, daily routine of specific neuromotor movements. Think of them as a gentle wake-up call for dormant neural pathways in your brain. These movements reestablish the powerful, foundational connection between your body and your mind, a connection that often weakens over time. Now. These exercises are powerful enough on their own and require nothing but you and a chair. However, I've found that a few simple tools can significantly increase your comfort and the effectiveness of the routine. And I'll share those with you as we go. I will guide you through five of these core movements. And at the end, I'll show you how to combine them into a single, powerful, one-minute sequence. This routine can help you rewind your mental clock. It's time to unlock the incredible potential your brain still holds. Our first movement begins at the very foundation of your body, your feet. It might seem strange to start here for brain health, but this is where the magic begins. This is exercise one, the foundational awakening. You see, the soles of your feet are packed with thousands of nerve endings. These are direct lines of communication to a critical part of your brain called the cerebellum. The cerebellum is like your body's motion control center. It governs your balance, your coordination, and your ability to move smoothly. When it's not fully activated, you can feel unsteady and hesitant. I remember my patient, Mr. Henderson a wonderful 78-year-old man who had developed a deep fear of falling after one small stumble. He stopped going for his morning walks in the park, afraid his own body would betray him. His world was shrinking. We started with this simple exercise. At first, he was skeptical. But within a few weeks, something shifted. He told me he felt more planted, more connected to the ground beneath him. Soon, he was back to walking with his grandkids, no longer looking at his feet with every step, but looking ahead with confidence. Here's how you do it. While seated comfortably in your chair, start by lifting all 10 of your toes toward the ceiling, holding for five seconds. Feel that gentle stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Now lower them and press your toes firmly into the floor as if gripping the ground for another five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Next, 
Gently massage the floor with the very tips of your toes for 10 seconds. Just a light, circular motion. Finally, for 10 seconds, simply spread your toes as wide as you can, then bring them back together. Open and close. Open and close. And here's a pro tip. Whenever possible, try to do this exercise barefoot. This maximizes the sensory feedback to your brain, making the connection even stronger. You are quite literally waking up your brain from the ground up. After grounding our foundation, we now move to the vital highway that connects your body to your brain, the neck. This is exercise two, the clarity flow. Think about your day. How much time do we spend looking down at a book, a phone, or just from years of habit? This creates chronic tension in the neck muscles. This tension can gently compress the vital vertebral arteries, the main pipelines delivering fresh oxygen and nutrients to your brain. When that flow is restricted, it's like a kink in a garden hose. The result is often brain fog, a feeling of mental heaviness, and slower, less clear thinking. This simple, gentle movement is designed to release that tension and open up that crucial flow inviting clarity back into your mind. Let's do it together now. Sit comfortably with your back straight and your shoulders relaxed. Take a slow, deep breath in. Azu, exhale slowly and gently turn your head to the right, just as far as feels comfortable. Hold it for three seconds. Now, slowly bring your head back to the center. Inhale, and as you exhale, gently turn to the left. Hold for another three seconds. Return to the center. Now, gently tilt your head back, lifting your chin toward the ceiling. Feel a light opening in the front of your neck. Finally, slowly lower your chin down towards your chest. Don't push, just let the weight of your head create a gentle release in the back of your neck. The biggest mistake here is speed. Remember, these are not aggressive stretches. They are gentle signals to your nervous system. Never force the movement into pain. For those who carry chronic tension from stress, a gentle neck massager with heat can be a wonderful supplement to this routine, especially before bed. It helps to deeply relax those muscles, ensuring that highway to your brain remains clear and open while you sleep. Now that we've opened the pathway to the brain, we'll focus on a tool you use every day, but may not think of as a key to memory, your tongue. This brings us to exercise three, the verbal activator. This one might feel a little unusual at first, but the neuroscience behind its effectiveness for verbal clarity is profound. Why does this work? Your tongue is one of the most densely innervated muscles in your body, packed with thousands of nerve endings. These nerves form a direct superhighway to your brain's language, centers the areas responsible for forming sentences, understanding speech, and, most importantly, Retrieving words from your memory bank by consciously moving your tongue in these specific ways, you're sending a powerful surge of stimulation directly to those regions, essentially giving them a focused workout. This is especially powerful if you find yourself searching for words or forgetting names in conversation. This simple act helps re-engage and strengthen those specific neural pathways. Let's begin. Seated comfortably, with your mouth slightly open, Extend your tongue straight out as far as you can without straining. Hold for five seconds. Now, move the tip of your tongue to the far right corner of your mouth as if trying to touch your cheek from the inside. Hold for five seconds and then repeat on the left side. Next, press the flat part of your tongue firmly against the roof of your mouth for five seconds. Then relax for a moment. Feel the pressure. Finally, slowly trace a large circle inside your mouth with the tip of your tongue. Do this three times clockwise, and then three times counterclockwise. Think of this sequence not as a muscle exercise, but as an internal massage for the parts of your brain that govern communication, helping to keep them agile and quick to respond. Our fourth exercise focuses on an area that holds a surprising amount of power over our sense of balance and mental alertness, our ears. This is exercise four, the equilibrium reset. While we think of our ears for hearing, they are also home to the vestibular system, the body's internal gyroscope that keeps us balanced and oriented in space. Furthermore, the nerves in the ears are directly linked to the brainstem, 
a core part of the brain that regulates our fundamental state of alertness. When this system is understimulated, it can lead to feelings of dizziness, unsteadiness, and a general sense of mental fog. I had a patient, Mrs. Davis, a vibrant 82-year-old artist who became afraid to walk across her studio. She experienced subtle moments of dizziness that, while not severe, were enough to shatter her confidence. She felt she was losing her connection to the world. We introduced this gentle ear massage into her daily routine. In her words, it was like clearing the static from a radio. The world felt stable again, and her mind felt sharper. Here is how you can perform this reset. Using your thumb and index finger, gently grasp the top of both ears and pull upward softly. Hold for five seconds. Now, grasp the middle part of your ears and gently pull them straight out away from your head. Again, hold for five seconds. Next, take hold of your earlobes and gently pull them downwards for five seconds. Finally, use your fingertips to make small, slow circles all around the outer edge of your ears, giving them a gentle massage for about 10 seconds. You might even feel a pleasant warmth spreading as you do. This that's a sign of increased circulation and neural activation. This simple act helps recalibrate your body's sense of balance and sends a wave of calming, clarifying signals directly to your brainstem. And now, for the most powerful part of our practice, this is where we bring everything together. Think of each of the previous exercises as a beautiful instrument. On its own, it's effective. But when played together in harmony, you create a symphony. This is Exercise 5, the Full Brain Symphony. This integrated routine is designed to activate multiple key areas of your brain all at once, creating a powerful synergistic effect that lasts throughout your day. Let's begin our one-minute routine together. Sit comfortably and take a deep breath. For the first 15 seconds, lift and lower your toes while gently turning from side to side. Sink the movements. Feel the connection between your body's foundation and your sense of direction. Now, for the next 15 seconds, Press your toes into the floor and release, while slowly tilting your chin down to your chest and then gently up towards the ceiling. You are releasing tension in the neck and grounding your body simultaneously. We are halfway there. For the next 15 seconds, extend your tongue and move it from side to side, while gently pulling your ears upwards and then outwards to the sides. This combines verbal activation with your sense of equilibrium. And for our final 15 seconds, Press your tongue to the roof of your mouth and then slowly circle it while you gently massage your earlobes and the outer edges of your ears. And that's it. One minute, one minute. By performing these movements together, you're not just stimulating one area at a time. You are strengthening the entire neural network. You're teaching different parts of your brain to communicate more efficiently, building resilience and enhancing overall cognitive function. This is the power of a single, focused minute each day. You now have the complete one-minute rote. But to truly maximize its benefits, I want to share three small secrets that can turn this simple practice into a powerful daily ritual. The first secret is hydration. Did you know that your brain is about 80% water? Proper hydration is absolutely essential for optimal neural communication. Simply drinking one glass of water a few minutes before you begin can make a significant difference. It prepares your brain's electrical pathways to fire more efficiently. For those who often forget to drink enough, a water bottle with time markers can be a fantastic visual reminder throughout the day. The second secret is deep breathing. As you perform each movement, inhale slowly through your nose and exhale gently through your mouth. This simple act activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which calms anxiety and shifts your body from a state of stress to a state of healing. It also ensures your brain is receiving a fresh, rich supply of oxygen, which is the fuel for clear thinking. And the third secret is creating a pleasant environment. Take this minute for yourself. Put on some soft, calming music perhaps, a gentle piano piece, or the sounds of nature. To enhance this, some of my patients love using an aromatherapy diffuser with a calming scent like lavender. It transforms this one minute from an exercise into a true moment of total wellness. Now, just as important as knowing what to do is knowing what to avoid. To ensure you get the best possible results, please steer clear of these three common mistakes. The first error 
is rushing. This one-minute routine is not a race. Your brain responds to calm, deliberate signals, not frantic movements. If you hurry through it like another task on your to-do list, you will significantly reduce its effectiveness. The goal is connection, not completion. The second mistake is forcing the movement. You should never feel pain or significant discomfort. These exercises are about gentle stimulation, not straining your muscles. If you feel any sharp discomfort, ease back. Listen to your body. Its feedback is your most important guide. Treat it with kindness and respect. And the third, most common error, is a lack of consistency. Many people try this once, feel a bit better, and then forget about it. But please remember this. Your brain loves repetition. Each day you perform this routine, you are strengthening new neural pathways, like paving a path through a forest. Consistency is what turns a simple one-minute exercise into a life-changing habit for your long-term mental clarity. Today, you have learned a powerful yet simple routine to awaken your mind. You've learned how to use your toes to ground your balance, your neck to improve mental flow, your tongue to sharpen your words, and your ears to reset your equilibrium. Most importantly, you learned how to combine them into a symphony of neural activation that takes just one minute a day. Your mind is not a fading light. It is a garden waiting to be tended. It's never too late to start. It doesn't matter if you're 60, 70, or 80. Your brain has an incredible capacity to adapt and renew itself. All it needs is a gentle, consistent signal that you are ready to engage with it. To support you on this journey, I've compiled a list of the helpful tools we discussed, like the seat cushion and massagers, in the first pinned comment below this video. And now, I have a small challenge for you. Start this one-minute routine today. Be consistent. Then, come back here in three weeks and share your experience in the comments. Your story could be the inspiration that someone else needs to begin their own journey. Thank you for giving yourself this time. Remember, your brain never gives up, so don't you give up on it. And if you enjoyed this content and want to continue your journey to a sharper mind, check out the videos appearing on your screen now. I'm sure they'll help you immensely. Click on one of them, and I'll see you there.